Hey guys, so Hi today's guys. tutorial we're going to show you guys how to make um, Frankenfrosting, which is a combination of royal icing and glaze. Okay, I'm going to give you really quick the ingredients that we need, but the full um, ingredients and instructions are going to be posted below the video on YouTube. So we're going to need meringue powder, cream of tartar, light corn syrup, um, extract of your choice, vanilla, um, we're using vanilla and we're using almond extract. Uh, you're going to need light carol syrup and you're going to need some water. You're also going to need four pounds and one cup of powdered sugar. You're going to need to divide it. Uh, we have it divided into little containers like this. This is two pounds plus one cup. This is for my royal icing. And then in the other container, I just have four, uh, two pounds of powdered sugar. Okay, so this, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're doing our royal icing first. For the royal icing in your kitchen aid, you are going to need five tablespoons of, uh, of meringue powder. Um, the meringue powder, if you have a preference on um, brand, that's fine. I don't really have a preference. I use whatever I can get my hands on. So this one for today's Wilton, I've used CK. And I don't remember what other brand. To me, they all work the same, but there's some people that say they like other brands better. Um, like I said, whatever you prefer. It really doesn't make a difference. So here we go. One. Two. Five. Okay, that's our five tablespoons tablespoons of meringue powder. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. You can find cream of tartar. You don't have to buy it at the cake supply. You can find cream of tartar in your uh, spice section at your grocery store. We need three fourths cup of, of warm water. Water. Three fourths cup. I have a one third. Oh wait, what did I say? Three fourths. So I have a one fourth. We're just going to use three of these. Okay. Make sure your water is warm because that's what's going to help um, your egg, your meringue, fluff up. Two. Three. And then you need a teaspoon of glycerin. The teaspoon of glycerin. Glycerin, I just got mine at Hobby Lobby. You can get at the cake supply shop. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, whatever. So you can use whatever brand you want. It doesn't have to be a specific brand. We're going to use half a tablespoon of vanilla. Half a tablespoon of vanilla, and then they usually add um, butter flavoring. I don't like the butter flavoring. I like to do the um, the almond. So for the almond, you know, almond is very a very very strong flavoring. So I just add an eighth of a teaspoon of almond extract. That's all I add. And then I, eat, I need half a teaspoon of the carol syrup. The carol syrup 
the carol syrup is going to um, make it softer. And again, brand doesn't really matter. Get it all out. Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to put the powdered sugar in there quite yet. I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl. And I want it to kind of foam up for me before I... Uh, once it starts, um, do you see the little foam in there? Then we should be ready to go. Okay, so it takes about one or two minutes. You, can you see that? Now it's all frothy it's all foamy you see that okay now that it's foamy that means that uh, um the um the meringue got really hydrated so i'm just going to go ahead and give it another little whirl just to make sure there's no meringue or cream of tartar stuck to the bottom of my bow and look Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to add our two pounds plus a one cup of powdered sugar. We're not gonna add it all at the same time because we don't want it to fly everywhere. It's very important that you do this with the paddle attachment and not the whisk. If you do it with the whisk, it's not going to come out. Okay, so we're just gonna let that kinda work his way down okay I don't see any more powdered sugar I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest Um, royal icing it's very important that you beat it for nine minutes on high I'm gonna bring mine up the speed on it slowly at this time you can go ahead and you're gonna you can cover it with um, a, like a damp tea towel or with something I usually put a shower cap on it but I ran out so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put saran wrap around it give me one minute Okay, so we got ahead and we wrapped some saran wrap around it as good as we could. And then I'm gonna go ahead, put it on high. Slowly increase it. Okay, and we're, and we're gonna put it just. Okay. So we're gonna let it run for nine minutes. We went ahead and we set our timer and that's gonna run for nine minutes. Now, while that's going, we're gonna make our glaze, which is the second part of our Frank and Frosting, okay? I'm gonna move y'all over for a little bit. Now we're working here. Okay, so we're gonna work on the glaze, but we're not gonna do the glaze until our royal icing is done because we want, or when was closer to, maybe once you hit the seven mark, seven minute mark on your, on your royal icing, we're gonna do the, the glaze, okay? Okay, so our nine minutes are almost up. Okay, our nine minutes are up. But we're gonna keep it on low because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our glaze. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off. Leave it covered, okay? Our glaze is next. So for our glaze, we have, we have, um, I don't know how that got in there backwards, upside down. So we have the two pounds 
we have the two pounds of powdered sugar. To this, we are going to add half a cup of warm water. Make sure your water is warm. Half a cup of warm water. We're going to add one fourth cup of um, light carol syrup. Go ahead and do half a cup or one fourth cup of carol syrup. I hope I have enough. Okay, I'm gonna go get the other carol syrup. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, told you. I really don't stick to one brand. Whatever brand I can get my hands on, that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so that's a fourth. Okay, and then flavoring of your choice. So we're going to use again vanilla and the smallest little drop of almond extract and that's it. I don't know if you guys noticed. I'll show you in a minute. My royal icing is white. I know some people say, oh, you can only use the clear vanilla extract because if not, you'll have a, a dingy looking royal icing. No. If you beat it long enough and you aerate it, it'll turn white. All the, all the air going into your, into your, whether it be buttercream or royal icing, as long as you give it enough time, you put enough air into it, it turns white. Okay, for the, for the glaze, you do need to use some elbow grease, guys. My arm hurts already. Because the glaze is hard to do. You can do it in a mix in the mixer if you want. You can pull out all your royal icing, mix your glaze, and then put your royal icing back into your KitchenAid with the glaze to make your Frankenfrosting. But I just do it like this. My arms need to work out anyway. Okay, so as good as you can. It doesn't all have to be mixed in perfect because we're still going to toss it into the, we're tossing it into our royal icing. So let's bring our royal icing back. Uncover it. Here's my royal icing. Can you see? It's white. Okay. We're going to go ahead, we're going to add our glaze. Let me get a bigger spatula. Okay, here's my bigger spatula. Just make sure you get everything into your bow. Yes, there's lumps in it, I know. It'll all work its way out, out in the mixer. And I didn't, I don't know if you noticed, I did not sift my uh, powdered sugar. Because if you're going to get lumps, you're going to get lumps in it, Ooh, no matter what you do. It don't matter if you sift it, it don't matter if you didn't sift it. There's a trick to getting all those lumps out of it once you're ready to use it. Okay, so it's everything's in there. Royal icing and glaze. We're gonna let it go for a little bit. Just until everything combines. Okay, 
Okay, that's it. We're done. Our Franken frosting has been finished. Let's take a look. Okay, here's our Franken frosting. Franken frosting needs to be covered right away. Like, you cannot let it sit more than two minutes because it starts crusting. Franken frosting dries a lot faster or it crusts a lot faster than royal icing does. Um, I like Franken frosting better. To me, it tastes better. Um, it's softer to the bite. It dries hard, but soft. I don't know if you, can, if you understand what I'm saying. Go ahead and scrape my side of my bowl. Just make sure I got everything in there. Everything's good. What is this? Okay. Make sure everything. And this is what it comes out looking like. This is a good... Um, outlining consistency so I took when I took a class a cookie class my teacher which is really good if you don't know if you don't follow her you really should follow her on Instagram her name is cake cookies and cakes by Clau C-L-A-U she said to outline your royal icing she taught me how to do royal icing not not the French frosting it has to look like toothpaste if your royal icing is the same consistency as toothpaste, it's perfect to outline. And to flood your cookies, it has to be like honey. It has to run off of your spatula in a, cons a cons constant ribbon. Okay, this one's perfect for outlining only. We're going to go ahead. At this point, I put it, I divide it. If I'm going to do different colors, I divide it into my different colors. Um, I'm going to do that later though. So right now I'm just going to put it all into a Tupperware and cover it. If you are going to color this, don't, don't make your icing the day of that you're making your cookies, especially if you're going to color it because you need those colors to deepen, to get nice and bright, especially if you're doing black and red, that needs like a day to, to sit and develop. So if you do red, let's say you do your red color today, you let it sit overnight, you get it as close to, to the color red that you want, that you can get it. Not that you want, that you can get it. And then you let it sit overnight in the morning, it, it would be the perfect shade of red. Okay, so, so there you go guys. It's ready to use. You can portion it out, color it, and do whatever you like. Thanks for watching us. Bye. Bye.